in a high temperature regime. Thank you. Okay, I can start. Uh, yeah. So thank you for a great intro, uh, just introduction. Uh, my name is Kohei Hayashi from the, I'm a PhD student of the University of Tokyo. And uh, I received an uh, invitation from Patricia uh, during, actually during my stay in Lisbon. And uh, I, I would think, uh, I, I was, I'd like to thank uh, Patricia and also uh, for organizers for, for uh, giving me such a great opportunity to give a presentation here. So uh, let us begin. So today uh, I'd like to talk about the universality of the Kada Parigi Jung equation and uh, particularly uh, that there, uh, 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 like, uh, our purpose is to derive the equation from many microscopic models. And especially on uh, this talk, uh, I'd like to focus on the high temperature regime. I mean, the temperature of the system is uh, uh, very, very high. So uh, let us begin. So, so here is the outline of this talk. Uh, after I will uh, give some introduction, then uh, I will give some uh, brief review on the previous works uh, from which uh, that is a microscope, microscopic models from which the KPZ equation is derived. And then I will give uh, two uh, main results, uh, which, which are concerned with the high temperature regime and how to derive the uh, especially how to derive the KPZ equation in a robust way uh, with the help of some Taylor expansion. So uh, let us begin with the introduction. So our main interest is uh, uh, so called the KPZ equation, uh, which is the abbreviation of the uh, Kada Parigi Jan equation. And this is a stochastic partial differential equation of uh, a unknown function H, and where T and X be a time and spatial variable, respectively. And in, uh, in my case, I, I'm concerned with the one dimensional case. So X uh, always denotes the uh, one dimensional spatial variable. So and the form of the SPD is, is given by this form, and, the, and W is a uh, space time white noise, so it, it's a kind of random okay, a partial differential equation and, uh, with some singular term. And uh, as a, a similar object as KPZ equation, uh, when we consider the tilt, uh, which is a special derivative of H, uh, we can find that it's tilt U uh, satisfies this uh, stochastic Burgers equation, is, so, which is a kind of also singular stochastic partial differential equation. So, and uh, it is important that, uh, uh, so, and what is interesting is that these equations, KPZ or SPDE, uh, has been derived from many microscopic models. And uh, it, it is concerned, cons uh, expected that these, these equations have uh, universality. And so, our uh, big aim issue is to uh, give a, a robust way to derive the equations uh, in a mathematically rigorous way and also find uh, some mathematical structure behind the universality. So this is our big goal. And uh, so the key uh, to derive the equation from microscopic model is the so-called uh, notion of weak asymmetry. Uh, I mean, it's asymmetry plus uh, some asymm uh, asymmetry with, with uh, some weak intensity. So in other words, uh, uh, an important structure to derive the equation is that uh, some heat diffusion uh, plus some perturbation is a key uh, structure to uh, give a conductor derivation of the equation. So, uh, so my plan of this talk is the following. So, first of all, uh, I will I'd like to explain what is what the uh, weak asymmetry is and how uh, which kind of structure is. Uh, Diff, uh, important to, for the derivation. And in particular, I, I'd like to uh, give an idea to uh, extract the structure of heat diffusion plus perturbation uh, by using some Taylor expansion argument. So uh, actually, I think this is valid in when the temperature of the system is uh, sufficiently high. And uh, in through some particular models, I will, I'd like to give uh, my idea and the uh, result uh, of the derivation of the KPZ and S, uh, SPE uh, by through some scaling limits. Okay, so this is the introduction. And uh, so uh, let us begin with a pre uh, review on previous works, uh, which are concerned with the way up. Maybe it's a, a very basic uh, for you. And also the recent result by Milton Hara and uh, uh, Gregorio Moreno Flores, uh, which uh, where uh, they're considering the stationary Oconderio polymer case. So let us begin with a uh, review on the previous works. 
So uh, what did, what was WASEP? So WASEP is an abbreviation of weakly asymmetric simple exclusion process. So uh, this is a kind of interaction particle system whose state state space, uh, state space is give, uh, denoted by script X. And uh, in this case, we have this form of state space and whose element are uh, elements are denoted by Greek letter eta, and when eta j is equal to one, then uh, it means there is a particle on the site uh, j. And on the other hand, uh, when eta j is zero, then uh, it means there is no particle uh, at site z uh, j. And uh, let n be some scale parameter. So and uh, we let some uh, uh, parameters p and q uh, in this way. So uh, when uh, this is a jump, uh, actually a jump rate uh, of, to, to right or left direction uh, respectively. And, uh, and we impose a weak asymmetry with order one over square root of n or p and q. So p is uh, a, li a little bit greater than q with order square, one over square root of n. So and then using this, these parameters, consider a Markov process uh, generated by this generator. Uh, so ln, uh, n uh, accelerated by n squared, which is a diffusive scaling, uh, which is given by this form. So uh, here, eta jj plus one denotes a configuration after uh, flipping the uh, you know, uh, occupation variables at site j and j plus one. So uh, this uh, operator defines some Markov process on configuration space, so uh, which is described by this equation. Uh, like this figure. So there are many particles and uh, each particle flips uh, to the nearest neighbor site right, uh, right or left direction. So and uh, when uh, the uh, target uh, site is occupied, then uh, this jump is prohibited. Or on, uh, in other words, uh, it is, uh, there is no change because uh, we do not dist distinct these particles. And uh, when the jump is allowed, uh, the jump rate of uh, to the right direction is denoted by P, and on the other hand, uh, the jump rate with to the uh, left direction is denoted by Q, and uh, we also uh, and we impose the uh, asymmetry in terms of uh, P and Q, and uh, asymmetry of uh, order of asymmetry is given by one of a square root of n. Okay, and the, for this model, a uh, total number of particles is conserved uh, because there is no dynamics of uh, annihilation or creep. Uh, creation particles, and uh, also uh, we know the explicit form of invariant measure, uh, which is a product Bernoulli measure with common uh, intensity rho, which takes values between zero and one. So this is a definition of a uh, WASEP, and this, the description is something like this. So there are many particles interact, uh, which are in, which interact with each other. I mean, uh, jump. Uh, each particle jumps uh, to the left or right uh, with some late, and we can define some uh, height function uh, for each values of scale parameter. So then uh, when we take uh, scale parameter n to infinity, then we can see that uh, some uh, uh, continuous function uh, can be uh, can be so uh, can be seen. And uh, actually, this limiting function uh, satisfies a. Uh, the Parisian equation uh, in many situations, so particularly for the basic case. So this is the intuition, and this, let us be, be, uh, precisely give the statement for the uh, WASEP. So we, uh, since we are concerning with the equilibrium fluctuation, so uh, initial measure of the dynamics uh, is given as a product Bernoulli measure, which is an invariant measure for the dynamics. And uh, let uh, eta bar uh, be a, a deviation from the uh, Average, uh, which is a law uh, in this case, and uh, we fix any variable of law, and uh, uh, we're concerned with the product Bernoulli measure as an invariant measure. And then uh, we define equilibrium density fluctuation field X in, a, in such a way that uh, uh, so eta bar times uh, something uh, J, uh, which is divided by a square root of uh, one over square root of N, because uh, we are concerning with the central limit theorem. Uh, uh, in order to uh, see the random uh, behavior in the limit. And also Vn is a, a, a moving frame, uh, which are proportional to n to the three over two in this case. So then the, uh, what is, so the result uh, of a celebrated paper by Bertini, Giacomin, and is the following. And uh, so 
uh, x n be a let x be, n be a equilibrium fluctuation field defined above, and then this uh, family uh, fluctuation field converges in distribution, uh, and the topology is a score hop space which takes parties on the short uh, distribution and the limiting uh, process is uh, given as a, st a stationary energy solution of the stochastic Burgers equation or the following form and uh, this is a uh, first uh, this is proved for the first time by Bertin Giacomi and then after, after that and um, this is uh, generalized to more uh, you know, uh, you, this is extended to more general case uh, by Patricia and Milton Hara after the result of building Jacomi. And uh, though this is a result for us to get the Berger's equation, uh, we can also derive the KPZ equation uh, by considering the height function instead of density fluctuation. So, uh, but uh, this is a very similar argument. So, uh, in the score, uh, we focus on the derivation of the stochastic Berger's equation instead of KPZ equation. Okay. So, uh, the, the key. Uh, is the following the following decomposition. So wave step uh, is a uh, can be decomposed in such a way that the uh, symmetric part uh, plus some perturbation, and here the symmetric part it corresponds to the heat uh, the heat diffusion macroscopically, and the perturbation has order one over square root of n. So this is a key uh, structure behind the, the wave step, and uh, uh, so uh, yeah. So and um, what it's a key to find such a, a the structure for a microscopic model to derive uh, the stochastic Burgers equation or the KPC equation. So and uh, so let us briefly review some related works other than WASEP. So after the result of Bertin Giacomi, uh, some microscopic models are considered, and uh, there are some results uh, from which the KPZ or SBE are derived. So for example, uh, for zero range process, it's studied in this uh, Gonzalez harris raman paper. And after that, this is uh, extended to the uh, multi-species case. And, uh, can, you, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I have a, a question on your, on your previous slide. Uh, uh, so maybe, I don't know, maybe it's included in the generator. So uh, uh, sorry, I cannot hear. Oh, sorry. In your in your in your in your definition of uh, xi xtn, don't don't you need to rescale uh, time somewhere? A scale time also the generator in this case is n square times l. So ah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks. Okay, is everything clear for you? Okay. Okay, let us proceed. So the uh, previous, uh, so uh, the result other than waste upon zero range process, and uh, there is also known for the uh, result for interacting diffusion, uh, which is described some uh, systems to get the differential equation, uh, is given in this. Uh, this is given in this paper, and also for uh, the microscopic model, which is called sasamoto shippo model, is also studied by Haran, Milton Haran, the uh, modern Flores recently. And also this model uh, is uh, extended to multi-species case. And also uh, we, uh, we should note that some, uh, also for interacting oscillator case is recently studied by uh, Patricia and, and the Harako authors recently. And the KPC equation is derived from also for this model. Okay, uh, but so for all these models, uh, uh, the invariant measure uh, of the microscopic system is independent of N. But on the other hand, uh, there is another uh, model uh, which is a, a kind of a bit different from these uh, works, uh, which is also the result by Hara and Moreno Flores, uh, which, which are concerned with the so called O'Connell Yor polymer case. Uh, polymer model of is a kind of uh, directed polymer and uh, they are concerned with a high temperature regime uh, where, where the temperature of the system tends to infinity okay and for this case uh, the input measure is uh, uh, it uh, depends on scale parameter n so this is a uh, a, a kind of difference and also they're concerning the high temperature regime and i think uh, i found uh, some uh, uh, it's Good way to find, uh, uh, you know, the weak asymmetry structure from uh, uh, microscopic model, and I uh, found some hints from this model. And so, uh, from from the uh, from next slide, I'd like to uh, review on the on this model, uh, which is I, I I'm thinking that this model is something different from the the previous works. So anyway, uh, let us. Uh, 
legal the definition of the uh, Okonde Yoru polymer case and uh, the result. Okay, so let uh, BJ be a family of independent standard the Brownian motions, and uh, we write uh, its increment uh, by this uh, letter, BST for EJ, and uh, uh, fix some uh, parameter beta and theta, uh, which take part in this region, and consider the stationary Okonde polymer partition function, uh, which is given by this. Uh, form. So this is a kind of uh, directed polymer model. And uh, so beta is a uh, inverse temperature uh, as a stochastic, uh, statistical mechanical object. So and uh, also for uh, to, in order to concern, uh, be concerned with the stationary, stationary situation, uh, we, we take a stationary version of the one polymer case polymer model. So uh, so that's what's the, what's the stationarity for the model? So uh, define a log derivative of the log uh, partition function by this manner. So uh, so j here uh, j be a uh, kind of spatial variable which is discrete in this case, and we take the log derivative uh, divided by uh, beta, uh, and uh, we denote this quantity by uh, u beta theta. Um, for each j and t. And this is, uh, in other words, this is a free energy uh, as a uh, in directed polymer model. Polymer model. And then the stationarity is that uh, for any t, uh, the sequence of random variables u uh, tj is an iid with whose uh, uh, common distribution is given by log gamma distribution with parameter beta and theta. So this is a stationary. So, uh, so we begin with the dynamics from this uh, invariant measure. So then consider the equilibrium fluctuation in the score. So the result of the uh, for the open real polymer case is the following. So let beta and theta be dependent on uh, n in this way, and simply uh, write uh, uj. Uh, we and uh, namely we omit the dependency on beta and theta. So th we simply write this, and uh, let a be some a n be some increasing and divergent sequence such that a n over n tends to zero as n tends to infinity. And then the fluctuation field we are interested in this uh, case is the following. So x n be an uh, increment uh, discrepancy between uh, expectation of u uh, divided by square one over square divided by square root of n uh, similar to the way set because we are concerning with the central limit theorem scale. And also we are taking uh, some framing, moving frame uh, with some divergent sequence a and some Constant C. Okay, so the result of uh, Haran Bruno Flores is the following. So the family of processes Xn converges in distribution, and the topology in this case is space C, uh, the, and the limit is given as a stochastic Burgess equation uh, stage, uh, uh, energy solution, uh, similar to the Weiser case. Okay, and uh, okay, as I said before, uh, is it, is it, uh, Import, important to find the structure of heat division plus perturbation. So for also for this Okonoyori polymer case, uh, we can find such a structure in, with the help of Taylor expansion. So uh, recall that UJ is a uh, free energy of the Okonoyori polymer case. And uh, we can see that this satisfies a system, as a, a system of stochastic differential equation of the following form. And here, B beta uh, is defined as a scaling of some function v, and here the uh, potential v is given as this form. So this is uh, is is known as a total lattice potential, uh, which makes up uh, uh, SDE uh, solvable. And in, in namely we we have some uh, integrability for this model. Uh, but anyway, so then. Uh, since we are taking this such a uh, scaling and also uh, we, we have that v0 and v prime 0 is equal to 0, then we can extract the uh, 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 harmonic potential as a principal part as following. So uh, we recall also that beta is uh, taken as one of the square root of n, which is uh, vanishing as n tends to infinity. So, and also beta was the inverse temperature, so we are concerned with the high temperature regime. So then with the help of high Taylor expansion, we can extract a heat diffusion part uh, as a main part, and then uh, also for perturbation with order uh, one of the square root of n. Uh, so the, this is a key object uh, to the, for the open your polymer case. So, uh, so though this is a mere Taylor expansion argument for uh, potential. So, 
I, it is expected that this argument is valid for any uh, types of potential, uh, but of course, some uh, regularity conditions uh, to uh, conduct Taylor expansion is needed, and also for uh, existence of the dynamics should be uh, assured. But anyway, uh, we ex we ex uh, expect that uh, this argument uh, uh, is valid for uh, various type in various situations, and so uh, using based on this argument. Uh, with the help of Taylor expansion, uh, we, it is expected that we can find a weak asymmetry, uh, which is a decomposition of defeat diffusion plus some perturbation in a robust way, which is valid for a, various types of microscopic models. So this is this is my idea. And uh, what I want to do in my research is to uh, apply this uh, idea to many uh, models with some nonlinear function and extract uh, heat diffusion part plus uh, some perturbation. Uh, as a main part, and then uh, derive the KPZ or SPE in a robust way. So this is what I want to do in my research. So uh, through particular models, uh, we I'd like to uh, yeah, show show you this is also, uh, actually valid. So one is for a totally asymmetric zero range process, and the other is a multi species interacting diffusion. So uh, let us begin with the zero range process case. So uh, so. Uh, the range case, uh, the range process is a kind of uh, interacting particle system uh, whose state space is the following. So uh, this, which is also denoted by uh, script X, and uh, its element is denoted by Greek, also de Greek, uh, denoted by Greek letter eta. So uh, and so eta X denote the number of particles. And uh, for the zero range case uh, pro process, uh, we allow uh, that uh, infinite. Uh, in, so any any number of particle exist on each side, okay. And uh, also uh, we define some jump rate, which is uh, given by a uh, given using some non and function uh, g. So g is a uh, let, let g be a smooth increasing function uh, with uh, bounded derivative. Uh, I mean with some good regularity, and which takes values uh, from r plus to r plus. And uh, we impose G zero is equal to zero uh, because uh, when there is no particle, uh, uh, jump should, shouldn't be occurred because there is no particles, okay? And then uh, we set G and X uh, is uh, uh, scaled as in a following way. So N be a scaling parameter and we sandwich uh, this in, in this uh, like this. Okay, and then uh, using this Gn, which is a scale uh, jump rate of some function G, uh, define the generator as follows. So uh, here, so G, uh, eta x x plus one is a configuration after flipping, uh, after that, after a particle on site x uh, jumps to uh, the site x plus one, if possible. So uh, namely, the state space is given as. Uh, this figure. So uh, then uh, let e eta n be a Markov process of generated by ln, and this is also accelerated by n square, mm -hmm. which is diffusive scaling. Okay. So uh, there, if there are k particles on this side, then uh, one particle jumps from uh, to only right with rate g and k because we are, so in this sense uh, we, we call this model as totally asymmetric because only one uh, jump to one only one direction is allowed. Okay, so this is the definition of the model. So, and also for, uh, so, and since uh, we are concerned with the equilibrium fluctuation, so let us define the invariant measure for this model. Uh, so, because this is a uh, zero range process, so we can also uh, uh, obtain an explicit form of the invariant measure as a Gibbs measure. So, let uh, phi be a, a the negative number and let, uh, uh, sorry, this is maybe new over, overline new, and this is a, defined as a product measure on the state space with core marginal uh, is given by this one. So here, g uh, for, uh, factorial is given by this one, and when g, g factorial zero is defined as one. So then, uh, for each uh, variable rho, uh, we can choose nonlinear function phi n as, as usual uh, in order that the density is uh, parameterized by rho. And when rho is commonly taken for each site, then uh, this product measure becomes the invariant measure of the zero range process. And uh, for when the uh, invariant measure is uh, uh, 
uh, parameterized by row, then we simply write uh, a new uh, in, that, in this way, uh, just new n row. Okay. Okay. Sorry. And uh, yeah. So uh, what's that? Uh, weak asymmetric structure for this model. So uh, recall that GNK is defined by sandwiching the variables, sandwiching N in this way. So and uh, recall that G0 is just zero. So then with the help of Taylor expansion, uh, we can uh, extract the linear uh, function as a main object uh, with some perturbation uh, with, with, with again with one of a square root of N. So this is possible for all function of G. G with some uh, good property. Uh, so, and of course, the linear part uh, corresponds to the heat diffusion, uh, which must microscopically uh, corresponds to the uh, stochastic heat e equation. And also, the perturbation order is uh, uh, one of a square root of n similar to the basic case. Okay, so this is a, a key ingredient for this uh, zero range process. Okay, then the result is the following. So uh, uh, as uh, similar to the previous results, uh, let us define a uh, density fluctuation field, uh, X, uh, which is denoted by X, Xn, which takes values on space D uh, by this way. And the framing uh, is defined by this, this way. So this, uh, this, this is a constant depending on N and the derivatives of G. Uh, evaluated at the origin. So then uh, my result is the following. So also for this case, uh, the family of uh, fluctuation fields Xn converges in distribution uh, in space D, uh, and the limit is uh, this uh, characterized by the as a unique stationary energy solution of the stochastic Burgess equation of the following form. Okay, and the, the coefficients of uh, uh, coefficients are given as a, a G. Uh, derivatives of G uh, evaluated at the origin, and also the row appears as a uh, uh, station distribution and multi part. Okay, this is a result for the range case. Okay, and also I would like to note that our process is some relation to uh, so called Q TASEP, uh, which is also a uh, kind of exclusion process and uh, so uh, as follows. So uh, Q task step is a following interacting variable system. So a uh, fix uh, Q uh, via uh, parameter which takes values between zero and one. And Q task step is a, a task step with jump rate uh, one over Q to the eta J. So eta J is a, a eta uh, vacancies between side to J, uh, uh, J's uh, particle and the J plus one particles. So this is a uh, Q definition of Q task step. And when, uh, in particular, uh, when Q is uh, uh, taken as exponential minus one of a square root of n, uh, then the dynamics of eta uh, j uh, instead of uh, uh, density, uh, but the vacancies, it, it then uh, is, uh, these vacancies are described uh, by uh, totally asymmetric zero range process with jump rate, uh, this one. So uh, this is a, a scale uh, scaled jump rate. And uh, the original function g is just one uh, one minus exponential minus uh, k. So uh, and uh, this uh, such a degeneration uh, is known previously. So uh, it is known that q as tends to infinity. Uh, then q tasep tends to Okonelli polymer case uh, polymer model. So uh, since uh, from Okonelli polymer case we can derive the KPZ or uh, SBE. So it is natural to expect that from Q also from Q tasep uh, we can uh, derive the KPZ or SBE. So uh, our result, my result is based on this idea, uh, which is uh, pointed out in Borden Cohen or Borden Cohen Sasamoto. Uh, okay. And then and this is a result for uh, Q uh, TASEP, a, a totally asymmetric range process. And next, we shift to the, the interacting diffusion case uh, with uh, multi species. Okay, uh, so per, let us first describe the model precisely. So we work on torus. Uh, so let Tn be a discrete torus. And uh, when we write simply T, it's just a, a continuous torus. And the con uh, state space is given as follows. So X, whose element is uh, given by U, uh, or this is a family of function Uj. And the Uj is actually a vector which takes parts on Rd uh, because we are concerning the multi species case. Okay, so and uh, let V uh, be a smooth uh, complex function uh, such that uh, we have degeneration at the origin. Uh, so the derivative and V0 is zero. And uh, also for second derivative uh, are uh, 
satisfy this relation. And uh, similarly to the Okonoriori polymer case, uh, we said this uh, VV is a following manner uh, where beta is a uh, inverse temperature. And uh, we are concerned in the high temperature regime where beta tends to uh, zero. Okay, so then at the time of evolution of uh, the system is described by following stochastic differential equation, uh, which is driven by the potential, uh, which is scaled by beta. And uh, the Taylor expansion for this model is the following. So uh, when, uh, for uh, when beta tends to zero, uh, we can extract the heat uh, harmonic potential as a uh, main part uh, with some perturbation uh, was over the beta as follows. So, uh, uh, so here, uh, since we are concerned in the vector varied fields, so we omitted the summation symbol in K uh, by the Einstein convention, so just a, a rotational rule. So anyway, uh, when beta tends to zero, uh, we can extract the heat diffusion part as a main part uh, plus some perturbation. Okay. So then uh, also we have to uh, describe the invariant measure for this case. Uh, and uh, this is given by this uh, Gibbs measure and it, which, is, which is a product form uh, of some each uh, for fixed parameter eta, uh, sorry, lambda. So this is a vector uh, constant and the Z, uh, Z uh, sub beta lambda is a normalizing factor. This is a fact, partition function. And also a uh, conserved quantity for this model is a summation in J of UI for each I. And then uh, natural, uh, so a, a natural fluctuation field uh, for the model is of course the part, uh, fluctuation correspond to UI for each I uh, for some uh, framing, moving frame is uh, uh, extracted. Uh, but uh, I'd like to explain, this is not uh, proper or in general. Uh, because uh, we we cannot cancel uh, the divergent term uh, by moving frame, and uh, yeah. Okay, before I state the main result, uh, I I'd like to explain the the action of uh, uh, generator on this fluctuation field, and uh, I'd like to see that uh, there is a, a divergent term which cannot cannot be cancelled. Uh, so we need some modification of the fluctuation field. So uh, to derive uh, SPE from or KPZ from uh, this model, uh, we apply dinkins martingale formula uh, for this uh, fluctuation field. So Z, uh, uh, by according to dinkins martingale formula, uh, ZT is expanded as Z0 plus uh, this guy. So uh, where uh, LN is a generator of the SDE, uh, which is accelerated by N squared, and the SN and AN denotes uh, the symmetric and anti-symmetric part of the generator, respectively. And so we have the decomposition and the here the mount M is a mounting L, uh, which converges to uh, space-time white noise. Uh, in the limit. So uh, we, in the score, we uh, let us compute the action, uh, particularly the anti-symmetric part uh, to the fluctuation field Z. Okay, so uh, therefore, uh, okay, so to compute uh, the uh, action of the generator, we uh, make, we will make use of the Taylor expansion uh, for bar this variable. So let uh, gamma be a third derivative. This is just a notation and the red, uh, Wij be a derivative of fluctuation field. Uh, and this is another variable. And then uh, with the help of Taylor expansion and the assumption of potential, uh, we can uh, expand the, this variable in terms of U plus uh, some perturbation with order beta and uh, some uh, with some higher order term. And also he here, um, we omitted the summation symbol by the Einstein convention, okay. Uh, namely in the summation symbol in K1 and K2. Okay, so then we compute the action of anti-symmetric part of uh, uh, the generator on the fluctuation field. So then we have Wi minus Ui. So this can be expanded in terms of U. And also, uh, since these guys are also both uh, divergent actually, so we have to cancel these guys. So uh, we uh, we take beta uh, sufficiently small, then uh, we can cancel for uh, in a first uh, step as a first step. So then we can see that uh, this can be uh, extended as a non uh, quadratic term plus uh, this let part. So uh, this let part is also uh, still divergent. So this should be a 
uh, cancelled uh, by taking uh, framing con moving frame VI in a proper way. Uh, however, uh, since we are concerning the multi-species case, so uh, this is uh, actually in, uh, impossible because uh, th this is uh, this two gamma uh, lambda U is a linear combination of U, uh, but on the other hand, this is uh, just uh, uh, this is just proportional to U I for e for only one uh, variable I. So uh, unless this uh, matrix uh, gamma lambda is uh, diagonalized, uh, then we cannot uh, uh, cancel this divergent term by taking uh, moving frame property. So, uh, so I said uh, here's again. So the divergent term is a let part. So this should be cancelled by taking frame moving frame property. But this is impossible unless the matrix uh, two gamma lambda is diagonalized. So uh, instead of concerning uh, consider the fractional field Z, uh, we have to consider linear transformation of fractional field in this case. So let's go on to the main result for this case. So let uh, lambda uh, be a uh, uh, matrix uh, which, which uh, appeared in the previous slide. And uh, recall that gamma is a third derivative of the potential. And then uh, since lambda, uh, matrix lambda is symmetric matrix uh, because uh, gamma is just a uh, uh, third derivative. So we can exchange the order of the differentiation. So then we can. Uh, Diagonalize the matrix uh, with some uh, matrix Q. Uh, the, we denote the uh, uh, eigenvalues by eta, uh, I to eta D. So then uh, we can we consider a new fractional field, uh, which is defined as a linear uh, combination of the original field. So Q is uh, uh, some orthogonal matrix we defined here. So and X and is defined in the following way. So then the result is the following. So uh, B, again we take a the inverse temperature is uh, uh, as one of a square root of n, and assume that the matrix uh, also uh, some uh, this is some algebraic condition uh, which says that uh, this matrix is symmetric. Uh, sorry, this is not a matrix. Uh, so this quantity is symmetric in I one to I four. And then the sequence is tight. So uh, we can see that this uh, transformed fractional field uh, is a proper fractional field, uh, which is not divergent. And moreover, uh, assume that furthermore that uh, the matrix lambda is actually a diagonal matrix uh, with uh, some uh, co common eigenvalue, eta. So then uh, we can uh, characterize the limiting process, uh, which is uh, described by the coupled stochastic Berger's equation of the following form. So here the uh, UI is a limiting uh, uh, fun process of which process uh, XI, and the limiting equation satisfies for this Berger's equation. And the, this is a uh, division part. And the coupled uh, tensor is given as a third derivative gamma. And uh, we... And four derivatives. Okay, and uh, for we have to remark that uh, we, we recall that we impose a, a very special condition on uh, saying that this uh, matrix is actually uh, proportional to the identity matrix, and this is a very strong condition uh, where the. Okay, so this is the condition, and then uh, we we actually find that the fractional field is uh, ma uh, matches uh, the original one. So recall so that X is a, a linear transformation of the original natural one uh, with use with, with using some uh, with some uh, uh, matrix. But when <laughs> particularly this holds, then uh, actually we are concerning with uh, uh, this quantity, which is not, which is a natural. Uh, uh, fluctuation field. And also we have to know that this is a generalization of the previous result on uh, Haramorino Flores on Oconnerior polymer case. So recall that Oconnerior polymer case, uh, the dim special dim dimension, ah, sorry, the species only. Uh, so the model is only one species model and the potential given as a uh, uh, total lattice potential. So the state uh, statement is uh, just uh, saying that we can extend the result uh, to the more uh, general potential with some regular, regular condition. And also we can extend the multi-species case. And uh, moreover, we can uh, characterize, the limit, characterize the limiting process uh, when we, are in, we impose the very special condition on the uh, third derivative of the, of the uh, potential.
Okay, so this is the second result. So uh, finally, I will uh, give uh, some summary of this result, and I uh, I'd like to finish my presentation. So uh, first, a uh, KP we uh, introduced the KPZ equation or uh, the similar object stochastic Barker's equation, and uh, I said that this is a, a equation with universality, uh, which is derived from microscope many microscopic models, and uh, I said that to derive the KPZ or SPE from microscopic model, uh, we need a special structure, which says that we can extract heat diffusion as a main uh, principal part, uh, plus some perturbation with uh, a proper order, uh, which is actually uh, one of the scale root of n, where n is a scale parameter. And then uh, I said that in high temperature regime, uh, then Taylor expansion uh, arguments uh, enables us to extract the structure uh, in a robust way. I mean, with the help of Taylor expansion, we can extract the heat diffusion with uh, plus some perturbation for any form of potential. So uh, I, uh, it is expected that this uh, argument gives a robust way to derive the equation in a uh, very universal way. So on the through two models, I uh, verified that this is actually true. So for the zero range process as a first model, uh, we consider a jump nonlinear jump rate function of which is certified G0 is zero, zero. And then with Taylor expansion, we can extract the linear part as a principal part plus some uh, noise, noise part or the one of us could win. And uh, for the re result two, uh, inter for diff interacting diffusion, uh, we take beta uh, with this value and consider some nonlinear potential uh, which satisfy V0 equal to zero and also gradient of V of zero is zero vector. And then we take this scaling and then we can uh, extract the uh, heat uh, harmonic potential, which macroscopically correspond to the heat diffusion, plus some uh, perturbation with all the one of us root of n. So uh, this is a summary of this result, and uh, this is a uh, end of this my pres my presentation. Uh, so thank you for your attention. Hey, so thank you very much. Ah, okay, thank you very much for the uh, for your talk. Uh, so, do you have the questions here? Okay, so. Uh, so th thank you for the, the talk, Koei. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I was wondering, so uh, uh, here for, for both your things, like uh, for, for, for the, the both your results, actually you 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 get a true KPZ equation if uh, g second or, or 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 if the second derivative of your potential v are non-zero. Is it true? Uh, sorry, I I couldn't understand. Uh, no, for for your for you need that. I mean, if if um, okay, if g uh, if the second derivative of g mm -hmm. is is zero somehow ah, the, zero. the perturbation is degenerate, so you just see a, a stochastic heat equation, right? Or mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Just also when uh, for zero range case, for example, uh, when g prime with uh, g double prime is zero, uh, then uh, because a nonlinear term is proportional to g double prime zero, so we have just uh, 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 so get heat uh, heat equation John, with uh, additive noise. So, okay, so so now if you if you if you if you take a different scaling, do you know if you could get an object? I mean, if, if g g double prime is zero and if g triple prime is non zero. Ah, okay. So, uh, thank you. Would, 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 would I you think you this get is something a if you take, I don't know, n one third or n one fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> thank you for the question. I, I'm also interested in such a question. So, when the case g prime zero is equal to zero, so uh, also, uh, so then. Uh, we have uh, this equal to zero. So without diffusion part, also the melting part. So we need another uh, scale. No, no, no. I was thinking G prime zero, non-zero, mm -hmm. G, G, G prime prime equal to zero and G prime 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 different and a, a different scaling maybe. Oh, okay. So, 
maybe uh, okay so yeah, I, will, uh, I wanted to know if it's important that the, the perturbation mm -hmm. came from the second term in the Taylor expansion or if, if, if it came from a ah, okay I, I got a point so when a g double prime zero is equal to zero and uh, okay the third derivative is not equal to zero so then the linear term vanishes and when beta uh taking properly not uh, one of us could root of n then there is a possibility that we have another nonlinear uh term instead of the quadratic term and uh, i think this is also interesting and uh, yeah it's an interesting but but in, now i i have no idea for such a question but uh, yeah i'd like to consider more so uh, okay. i think it's there is a possibility to obtain u cube something like uh, when ah, yeah okay yeah because higher order term uh, should be uh, uh main is principal part when g double prime is equal to zero so yeah i think this is a very interesting problem so thank you for your question well, thank you mm -hmm. any other questions from the chat do we have um uh, uh, questions can i ask you one question to Yes, so certainly. One of your, uh, one of your last slides, when uh, you say that the matrix, which is given by the sum in K, has to be symmetric. Uh, what is uh, your notion of symmetry in that case, since you have four indices? Sorry, I didn't hear clearly. <laughs> so, uh, can I say again? I, I think it's one of the last slides. One of the last slides. Okay, yes. maybe. Yeah, this one. this one. What do you mean by this to be symmetric since you have four indexes? That every time you permutate two. Ah, okay. Same? This one. So uh, actually, this is not a matrix. Uh, this is of uh, so uh, the arguments are i one to i four, and the summation in k is taken. So this is symmetric. So because uh, gamma is uh, uh, the so, so derivative, so we can. Uh, exchange the order of i1 and i2 and also i3 and i4 this is trivial but also furthermore we impose a further that we can exchange the order of i2 and i3 something like that so this is uh, mm -hmm. another uh, algebraic uh, uh, constraint to uh, yeah this is a kind of technical condition but uh, we need we need it okay thank you Maybe I could ask a follow-up question. Um, yes, Sundar, please. I enjoyed your talk, very nice, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, for, for this theorem, uh, what, what happens if um, you don't assume this uh, condition? It's uh, lambda i1, i2 is equal to eta uh, delta i1 delta. Ah, okay, thank you. Uh, so this without this special condition, uh, we cannot, uh, character at the limiting point so though we only have uh, the, though we can find tightness but we cannot ex uh, character the limiting point uh because uh, when this this is not the case uh, so the moving frame takes various values uh, so uh, we we cannot uh, replace the uh, fluctuation fields with different velocities so this is a difficulty so we cannot replace the fluctuation field with different uh, moving frame so we, we couldn't uh, character at the limiting points so, but uh, yeah, by now we only have the tightness uh, without it, this condition. This is a situation. But you might be able to perturb that a little bit. Um, you could keep this as the dominant term, but maybe add some weakly asymmetric term, which is more general. Uh, then you can maybe enlarge the class of. Mm -hmm. Okay, so weak asymmetry means I mean, uh, so you mean in generator? Um, so the, yeah. I understand that you want to keep the speed the same, so mm -hmm. that the moving frame is the same, but uh, yeah, there could be some small perturbations of that speed mm -hmm. that you could put in. A, so that, yeah. uh, I don't know if it's relevant uh, in, in the in the paper with. Uh, Cedric and Funaki, we, we did that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you part up with something, uh, but uh, yeah, maybe also for uh, for your zero zero inch case, you impose that uh, uh, moving frame is taken commonly. 
Maybe. But we perturbed it just a little bit also. Ah, okay. So yeah, the dominant term is the same. Ah, okay. Maybe it's, a, it's also the case for my model. We, yeah, thank you. And did, did you assume that G was increasing in the first? Ah, uh, yeah, G, G is increasing because uh, G prime zero should be positive, strictly positive. Uh, maybe this one, uh, because G, G prime zero is uh, appears here. So if uh, G prime zero is no negative over zero, then uh, we have some, uh, you know, bad, bad behavior. So uh, to in to impose uh, g prime zero is positive, so we uh, impose uh, the, the uh, assumes that g uh, jump rate is increasing function. I see. Okay. Thank you. That's a very nice uh, very nice trick there. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, any other questions? So uh, quick question. So I, I so you, all all these results uh, are proven within the energy framework, right? So it means that you need the invariant measure uh, to be uh, mm -hmm. nice, and uh, and and in principle you cannot do it uh, out of uh, out of equilibrium, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we impose the equilibrium fluctuation and with uh, pre, uh, explicit form of invariant measure. So yeah, extension to non-link, non-equilibrium cases uh, should be considered. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, if there are no more questions, let's uh, thank the speaker again for this very, very nice talk. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. So we we'll see you next week then. No.